will be hard to beat. But not only that, it'll be the kickoff of the, of the season. So we've got to make sure we're on our ball. We haven't had too, too many successes in the past in the friendlies and um, made it all hands on this first game. So there's a lot of pressure on Underneath the post, pulls the ball, played, he just powers his way forward. Again, just takes that ball another metre or so forward. And Warrington it. short on the blind side. Bit of a bad option there, but this could work out well because Blackmore's going through and Blackmore's in for the first try of the season as far as Leeds are concerned. And he comes in and makes the angle short. Great try, Dean Bell. That's right. Um, a little bit of confusion there at dummy half with Mark Glanville. But uh, he was aware enough to spot where Tony Kemp was. Tony Kemp had come across to the blind and Tony sent out a uh, very simple pass to Richie Blackmore and he did the rest by crashing over for a good try. It's a good start then for the Rhinos, just what we want there. Seven minutes on the clock, and Leeds 4 0 up already. And due reward there for Tony Kemp's kick. Lee Penny, of course, had to cover across to put that ball into touch. Gave Leeds the head and the feed, and uh, moving the ball over onto the Leeds left hand side, there was shortage of numbers in the Warrington cover defence. Blackmore strolled through. He stressed when he arrived here that he was going to play an expansive brand of football, and certainly if the first seven or eight minutes or anything to go by. Carl Warrington, nightmare, knock on from the kickoff. Yes, absolute nightmare there, and uh, Danny Nutley was involved, and uh, didn't quite see who the other player was, but... Uh, I think it was Lee Penny coming across trying to take it. But uh, nobody called there, Dean. Oh, just a schoolboy error. I mean, Daryl van der Veld will be pulling his hair out if he's got anything left. Yes, and uh, Ryan Shiddy and then gives Leeds head and feet at the scrum. He's just gone and got the ball, and... Uh, that gives Leeds a great opportunity uh, to attack again. Kemp with the ball in his hands now. Drops off inside for Blackmore again. Sheridan, that's good play. Oh, Sheridan's out through. Well, Ryan Sheridan, it's taken a long time for him to run at the defence. For the first time he's done it, great tight in, Mel. Yes, that's right. It all comes from the Warrington mistake, but a great set move from the scrum. Uh, just open up for Ryan Sheridan. They had a number of options, but Ryan Sheridan showed terrific pace to come, go around by the post. But he said he's gone backwards. Would you believe it? Right underneath his own post. Yes, I don't think uh, the referee's endearing himself very well to this crowd at the moment. He's making a few poor decisions and unfortunately they're going against Leeds. But, I mean, you get that in games. Leeds have just got to hang in there and I notice that they're playing with a lot more enthusiasm at the moment and I think Daryl Powell's got a lot to do with it the way he's come on. Yes, he's having a big game, Daryl Powell. And Warrington, 10 metres from the own line, kicking. Took the ball up, Brad Gordon. Brad Gordon, in fact, it's Ryan Sheridan. He's in for a try in the corner, that's a try. Warrington lost the ball. Adam Doyle under a lot of pressure there, Warrington. In the, um, on the sixth tackle, Adam Doyle lost the football. Gordon kicked on. Sheridan picked up on a try in the corner. Yes, an opportunist try there from Ryan Sheridan. Middle of the field and again, uh, general custard in Lee Penny, holding him back. Yeah, that'll come from a, a great play of the ball by Richie Blackmore. And now Leeds are on attack. Inside ball to Daryl Powell. Is he going to make the line? Yes, a terrific try from Daryl Powell. Inside pass from Tony Kim, put him away. And that should be the uh, the game now for Leeds. And uh, it's been terrific play in the last five minutes, ten minutes, and they get what they deserve at the moment. Be nice for Leeds to finish with a flourish for the fans that have turned up. Perhaps get the score up to 30 if they can. That might send out a message. Yes, it's a good 9,800. I think we'd have all settled for that at the uh, start of the game. Marcelo, he's had a big game in the two spells he's been on. He looks a good player. And again, the uh, move not quite coming off there is uh, Marcus Sinelay, but he's just done well since he came on. Marley going for the line himself. That was a great try from a great player. Yes, just he's got what he deserved, Adrian Morley. Um, took the ball from dummy half. He was about 10 metres out. He beat three on his way to the line. A couple of them got their hands to him, but 